Hello everyone, welcome to the channel today. So this is one of our last trips for the year on the slow pitch jigging. And today we're again fishing at the Channel Islands between San Miguel and Santa Rosa. I'm fishing with my SPG buddy, Johnny. So this is our first stop. And as you can see, Johnny was applying a constant jigging action. Uh, while I was uh, applying a new technique which, uh, in which I was jigging for a few times and then let the jig sit or suspend at the bottom for a few seconds and see if the fish bites. And at some point you can almost see that we were both hooked. And in this particular drop, we didn't hook the fish right at the bottom, but about 10 feet off the bottom. I got a pretty nice chuckle head, whereas Johnny got a, a salmon grouper. Since we were fishing pretty shallow around 150 feet deep, so the jig I was using was uh, about 100 grams. And I think Johnny was using a 180 gram Rector jig. <laughs> now we come to our second stop, which was the uh, most productive spot uh, for the entire trip. And we hooked some pretty nice fish on this one. If I remember correctly, I think Johnny temporarily switched to the bait for this spot uh, while I stuck with the, uh, with the slow pitch jigging and I did pretty well on this drop. So right after that chuckle head, uh, we, I think it took me only a few pitches for me to hook the next one, the second fish, which uh, turned out to be a vermilion rockfish and it, I think it's bigger than the first uh, chuckle head.
The rod I was using on this trip was the Shimano Game Type Slow J. So I've been using that rod on a few trips and I really like the length of and the action of the rod. I think maybe a bit better than my Innovate, Temple Reef Innovate. Oh, nice. Oh my god. Way smart, man. I missed the fish here. Uh, it was a pretty good one, but it didn't matter. I just dropped the jig back down and started pitching again. And I think shortly after that, I hooked into my third fish on this particular stop. And it felt pretty heavy. And that's probably one of the biggest chuckleheads I've ever caught, both on bait or on jig. So here we go, three drops, three fish. Just when I thought things couldn't go any better, I hooked my fourth fish on this particular stop. So this fish felt a bit different when I was fighting the fish. It felt a bit different than the other rockfish. Um, so I knew it might, it could have been something different, uh, which turned out to be a rock soul. Those on slow pitch. Damn, what is this? Rock soul. Oh, okay. So, this is my second rock soul on a slow pitch jigging uh, this year, and I think they tend to stay on the bottom. So, what I would do is that you know, I would drop the jig to the bottom and just let the jig stay there, sit there for a few seconds, and then those fish sometimes will bite the jig when it's not moving too uh, erratically. Oh, 
you why. Sure. I'm sure. Thank you. It's a female child. Here's a footage from a previous trip that recorded uh, me catching my first legal size ling on anything. And I was glad that I caught that on slow pitch jigging. So that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. I recently moved into Orange County, so I'll be uh, pretty far away from Santa Barbara and I won't be able to um, make it out there on the uh, Coral Sea as often as I wanted to. Um, I will still try to go there every, maybe every couple of months and uh, do some slow pitch jigging. And I'll be doing more fishing in the San Diego area. So stay tuned. Hope to uh, see you guys later.